Hello, my name is Eric and in this video I want to show you the new robot vehicle from MakeBlock. It's called Mbot. You see, I have it here in my left hand and the chassis is made of solid metal. It has two wheels, one of each side. On the top of it there is a so-called baseboard. It's an Arduino-like board, microcontroller board which uh, has a lot of connections and modules on the top. Um, here is a Bluetooth module so that you can control this robot via Bluetooth. And here we have infrared sensors so it's possible to control it via this uh, remote control. We have an ultrasonic sensor which measures uh, the distance um, so you uh, can drive this MBOT um, automatically without controlling it by hand and you have a light sensor here which measures, uh, measures the, the light intensity you have a buzzer here, a button we have two RGB LEDs which control can control by uh, the software and here we have um, four connections um, which you can put more sensors some ports, port uh, 4 and 3 are already connected to the ultrasonic sensor and the other one goes to the, uh, the line finder so you can um, place this robot on a piece of paper and write a track um, with a, a black pen and this uh, MBOT will follow the line. So this was a lot of theory and I guess it's uh, better to uh, see this MBOT in action. So please follow me. So here we are. Uh, in order to program the MBOT it's necessary to um, install the appropriate driver. So please go to the MakeBlock Academy website. You find it under learn.makeblock.cc slash learning dash scratch. And here we have um, on one hand the MBlock application. You can download for Windows and Mac OS X. And here the appropriate driver uh, for the MBOT uh, for Windows and Mac OS X. So after installing the driver you can open uh, the MBlock application. Um, so in order to drive the two uh, motors on the MBOT uh, it's necessary to have four of these uh, battery batteries these are Mignon AA with 1.5 volts and you have to put it in here. Here's a, under this uh, baseboard there is a, a battery pack and here you have to put in four of these uh, Mignon uh, batteries. So next step is uh, to connect your MBOT uh, to the computer. Here we have a um, um, USB cable and you plug it in here and um, if you have uh, already installed the um, appropriate driver the MBOT uh, can control via the MBlock application. So now we have to um, upgrade uh, the firmware to the MBOT but we have to switch on here uh, the MBOT via this uh, little switch here and if you do this, the um, battery pack um, delivers the um, needed voltage to the uh, baseboard. So switch it on and you see it makes uh, a little beep and some lights are flashing. And now you see I already uh, opened the MBlock application. First go to the serial port menu. Make sure that you have selected MBOT uh, at the bottom of the menu and in my case uh, it's COM15 um, to control the MBlock uh, excuse me the MBOT 
and uh, click it and you hear another beep from the mbot and uh, at uh, the serial menu you see com15 uh, is connected so now we have to upgrade the firmware so please select upgrade firmware and we will see uh, what's going on here uh, there's a dialog it says starting uh, uploading here's another beep from the mbot and another beep and on the right hand of the mblock application there is the information current firmware version 1.21 upon uh, point 1.03 and shows there is an mbot available so that the preconditions for um, program programming the mbot via the mblock application so here we are and i already opened the mblock application and in this example i want to show you how easy it is to control the mbot uh, via an uh, infrared remote control so first uh, switch to the uh, events category and grab this uh, when green flag click block switch to the control category and grab this further block so every block that's uh, been placed here inside the forever block uh, will be executed uh, continuously and now we uh, want to check uh, which button on the um, infrared uh, remote control um, you pressed in order to uh, control the mbot and now we take this if then else block and here in this uh, condition you have to put um, an infrared remote block out of the robots category and here you can uh, select the button you, you want to control so I want to drive the mbot straight forward so I select here the up key and um, when the up key is pressed both uh, motors uh, should drive in the same direction so I go to um, the robots category and grab this set motor uh, block twice because we want to drive bo both motors M1 and M2 so M1 I set the speed to 50 and do the same to motor 2. Okay, now we want uh, to control the uh, down key of the infrared remote control and uh, go with uh, point this um, mouse pointer to the if block and click the right um, button to open the context menu and click, uh, uh, click duplicate and place this copy of this block here in inside the else block and now switch the up key to the down key and now uh, if the down key is pressed uh, the mbot should drive in the uh, opposite direction so we have to change the value from 50 to minus 50 both both motors and i think uh, for the first example this uh, is uh, is enough and uh, at, at the end we have to uh, uh, tell the mbot that uh, if no key is pressed on uh, the infrared remote control that both motors uh, have to be has to be stopped so uh, select here the um, set motor block m1 uh, open the context menu and say duplicate and put this a uh, copy of this both blocks here uh, inside the else block and change the value to zero so if no key is pressed on the infrared remote control both motors um, has, uh, has to be stopped so that's it uh, finally we have to click on uh, the green flag here and uh, we will see uh, what will happen to, uh, when I uh, press the up or the down key on the infrared remote control. So here I have the uh, infrared remote uh, control and here is the uh, mbot and now I press the up key. You see it moves forward, press the back key and the bot 
drives backwards. Forward, release key, stop. Backward, key, release, stop. Oh, that's fine. But one thing uh, I think it isn't so good at this moment, because here we have a wire. Uh, and uh, that uh, will keep the mod uh, here in place of, of my uh, table. And um, I think it's better to control the mbot via um, um, a Bluetooth. So we don't need this here, this wire here. Uh, I will show this uh, in a minute. Here you can see the Bluetooth module on the top of the mbot. And there is a blue LED blinking. That means there is no connection established between the Bluetooth adapter of your computer and this Bluetooth module. So what can I do to establish a Bluetooth connection between uh, the Mblock application and the Mbot instead of a um, um, USB cable connection? So as you can see here in the menu, in the menu there is uh, a Bluetooth shown. So when you click on Bluetooth, it takes a while here discovering Bluetooth. So Mblock uh, tries to find any Bluetooth uh, modules ah, here. It finds a MakeBlock Bluetooth module and this is here as I already said on the top of the Mbot. The blue LED is blinking that means there is no connection between the Bluetooth adapter of your computer and this module. And now when I click here on Mblock um, on mblocks um, entry from the device list the menu above shows ah uh, there's connected and back to the mbot this blue led isn't blinking anymore so the bluetooth connection was established in order to have a little bit more control of the mbot i expanded uh, the a script a little bit so that the um, uh, left key and the right key of the uh, infrared remote control uh, takes care about uh, the move of the mbot so when I press uh, the left key uh, the mbot turns left and when I press the right key uh, the mbot uh, turns right so now I will first I will remove the um, USB cable from the Mbot. So there is no connection from USB to the Mbot. And I will start the script by clicking on the green flag. Click. And now I can control the Mbot with my infrared remote control. I press forward. You see, it's forward. The back key. Turns, turns back, the right key, turns right, the left key, turns left, forward, backwards, right and left. So without any cable you have more flexibility and that's uh, great, I love it.